Hi everyone, Fosh Mohamed Shah with you. Uh, today our subject uh, is about uh, hydro power for um, or hydraulic power for uh, for standard application uh, by the aid of uh, concentrated solar gas engine. Um, after download, extract your files, okay, and copy your uh, module folder uh, into your working folder and go to your working folder from here. This is my working folder and this on my model so I am here so open my lab and go from here and um, sort my name and uh, group by type okay and let's go here and uh, double clicking okay this is our main model um, it's about uh, uh, hydro power okay for standalone application um, the system is uh, mainly consists of uh, concentrated solar gas engine Okay, we have here uh, 12 working gases, and um, uh, we, you, we can assign this for uh, AC current. And uh, during the day of or sun off periods, we can uh, store our energy in a high altitude storage tank in order to drive uh, the belt wheel uh, turbine by using of. Uh, uh, hydraulic power uh, okay just uh, we can explore something here okay okay this is for some information okay double clicking okay let's go inside and see our main model this is our main model uh, all we have to do is assign our inputs therefore uh, we have also main grid in case of uh, there is no power or no load on uh, uh, solar and hydropower it's up to our uh, um, uh, choice uh, first of all we can uh, assign some uh, some uh, parameters you can control your power from here okay you can control your power load from here we can choose your um, your uh, operational uh, load from here suppose it's uh, power main grid uh, solar gas engine stealing engine operator engine whatever okay double clicking here uh, okay, this is our main model. You can go inside. You can go inside here, and this is your uh, main model specification. This is your upper tank. You can choose between because it's a storage tank, operating hour, tank diameter. Uh, we have lower tank, for example. You can uh, uh, consider this uh, an open swamp or um, or um, large bond for uh, for the sink. And we have centrifugal bump for for uh, bumping ahead, uh, water density, dynamic viscosity, and uh, performance. Your efficiency, bump efficiency. What is your uh, bump speed? Uh, tube uh, system tube diameter and uh, minor losses factor. Going to the built wind turbine, we can assign the following. What is your installed installation costs? Uh, total head um, we have system total head uh, speed ratio okay uh, uh, the ratio over uh, jet uh, wheel uh, the, of, or diameter of the jet wheel okay ratio there is a ratio here shaft speed and deflection angle you can uh, select op uh, selection angle or optimum selection angle uh, uh, deflection angle I'm sorry jet deflection angle you can choose uh, which degree you are going to deal with water density and for performance we have to assign mechanical efficiency and nozzle velocity coefficient parameter all these parameters are set for the optimum solution so I will not uh, going to change anything and for uh, concentrated solar gas engines we have here this one is for uh, this field is for bumping issues, so you can double clicking here. We are going to assign some design aspects, such as your stilling engine or Python. I, I would like to choose most efficient stilling. Uh, most efficient working fluid, um, I think CO2 is fine, based on my research activities. And rim angle of the dish, uh, top cycle temperature, lower cycle temp temperature, uh, source and sink. And we have here um, operating conditions. I will set it as the maximum uh, DNI 1000s. 
operating hours, nearly 12 hours. And uh, we have here uh, this engine. Uh, I think it's 20, 25, 30 uh, kilowatt uh, per meter. Piston diameter, number of cylinders, and running speed. This is for Brighton engine and performance. What is your uh, generator efficiency? I think it's um, quite uh, 0.97, 0.95. Receiver efficiency around from 0.7 up to 0.9. Uh, this uh, mirror efficiency, you can select your type of, of, um, of mirror from here, from all of these. And we have here absorptivity and cost analysis. I will keep all of this. Just click OK and go outside here. Uh, for um, only solar, uh, uh, consider solar gas engine model, we, we have to do the same. But in this one, we are not going to control solar radiation. Okay, there is no effect of solar radiation because we, uh, okay, in this one we can uh, assign uh, solar radiation. But in dynamic modeling, we are going to uh, control um, uh, solar radiation from outside. And for stealing design, this is your module power, but total power, there's no total power from here. Total power should be assigned from outside. And the same, we can consider uh, the rest are the same. Okay. For main grid, main grid we can assign how many operating hours are going to deal with and your main grid cost based on your territory or uh, location. Okay, set your simulation time into zero. Saving your model and let's go and run our model. Okay, this is our run for hydropower. Uh, suppose I need to deliver around um, uh, 24 uh, megawatts. So this is our had load on hydropower. Okay, we can change this to a concentrated solar gas engine. Suppose I, I would like to increase the power. Well, as you can see here, let's hit run. Okay, this is a load on uh, solar gas engine, and you can choose here from here. You can choose um, a cost analysis or interest rate. You can go inside here for the control room and discover your results. What is your specific power price? In case of um, uh, this is in case of uh, solar gas engine, and there is no um, uh, cost on uh, or results on uh, main grid. Okay, and there is no result for uh, hydropower because we are running on um, only considered solar gas engine and we can for the rest. I'm sorry, okay, let's it run. This is our main grid. We can compare costs if you would like. Okay, let's go inside and see. Okay, there is no result for hydropower, no result for I think uh, this is, uh, I'm sorry, this is hydropower. I know it. hydro uh, costs okay there's no result for hydropower and uh, concentrated solar gas engine only main grid costs animal costs and uh, operating price okay suppose I need to uh, run this model in dynamic mode okay we have two dynamic mode we have uh, controlling manual controlling and self operated uh, model let's go for the second one uh, you can uh, find your results from here. Okay, this is the second one. Let's go here. And uh, I would like to close the first one. This one is okay. I will close this. Okay. Well, I am not going to control this. Uh, um, uh, go, uh, going to control or uh, the inputs. Because we already did this. But uh, what is most important is that uh, for this one, uh, for operating conditions, there is no effect of um, on solar radiation. Let's go here in control room. Okay, we have to divide our load conditions. I'm um, sorry, this one is uh, hydropower, not uh, horizontal. Okay, hydro. Okay, saving. Okay, for load condition, we have here. Uh, we have lower limit and upper limit for solar additions. Between lower and upper limit, we can we, we can uh, uh, depending on uh, we can depend on uh, main grid power. 
as there is no result for hydro or uh, solar gas engine. And if we have solution uh, more than at the upper level, uh, we can depend on uh, 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 solar gas engine. There is no result for hydropower or uh, 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 grid. And the rest is for hydropower in case of the absence of solar radiation. That's I mean. We can change this if you would like. Let's go here and I will set my solution time into infinity. Setting your uh, upper and lower limits, okay. For upper limit, it just means that uh, I am going to operate this, uh, the solar dish uh, uh, unless the solar radiation is going over 500 watt per meter square in order to ensure that I have uh, sufficient power from the solar engine. I'm sorry. And uh, for lower limit, is it for below 100? We have to us consider uh, uh, hydropower. Let's hit OK and hit run. I, I will I will try to change uh, the application load and solar addition and see the results. Let's go for here. Let's hit run and see. Okay, we are now on main grid because solar addition is b between uh, uh, upper and lower limits. So if I go up, if I go up more than 500, so we are now uh, working on uh, dish, dish engine, and I can increase the power if I would like, changing the power, and suppose I would like to decrease the load on uh, the system. I can decrease the load, okay. Suppose there is no solar radiation, okay, as you can see here. Now we have on, we are working on main grid, and then below this value, we are running on hydropower, as you can see. I would like to increase the power load on hydropower, okay, and stop my results. Uh, you can go here inside and discover this is the last value, so we are. We need to discover our values from data inspector. Okay, let's go inside here. Okay. Increasing a number of slots. Maybe this one. This one is sufficient. Okay. You can compare your runs. This is main grid costs during the day, hydro power costs, uh, specific uh, power price. Uh, annual total costs, um, uh, annual total cost for all, okay, load power on hydro power, varying load power on uh, st uh, sterling engine or gas engine, and load power on main grid, okay, okay, that's fine for this. Let's go for a uh, dynamic mode, um, self control dynamic mode, so I, I would like to open it from here, okay. The third one, that's drag and drop. For the third one, uh, the, the, the model will run from itself based on our uh, signal, data signal. I have to close this one. Okay. Okay, saving. Okay. For this one, uh, uh, we have to control only uh, application load. There is no effect on application load or solar addition from here because uh, the model. Uh, operating conditions okay the model uh, uh, should be operated by um, uh, the prepared signal from outside this is our main signal suppose I need to change uh, solar radiation so addition during the day this is 24 hours I have to assign set my simulation time you go from here to the solver and as you can see here uh, it's from zero okay midnight and for uh, 23, that means uh, 24 hours. Let's go inside here. This is our signal, so I have to prepare it. This is my signal. Signal access time is from zero. The same, you have to uh, consider the same values for minimum time and maximum time. And as you can see here, there is no existence for solar addition at the beginning during the midnight at uh, the beginning of the sun, uh, sun on days, sun on periods. 
This is sun on periods, and this is your sun of periods. Okay. And we have here uh, load power. You can change this if you would like. You can change your load power based on your uh, uh, design, based on your. You can add more points if you would like. Okay. You can change this. Uh, suppose I need uh, a minimum load range on hydro power because this is hydro power period. This is your hydro power period and saving. And this is your solar radiation load. Okay, we are depending on solar radiation load. You can design or change this if you'd like. Okay, let's close this one. So I, I, I would like to run this model uh, for. Uh, in self automatic controls so there is no, no no need or no effect for this one because we for application we disconnected this yes we can change but there is no effect on the on, on the system because it's uh, uh, fully operated from outside this is uh, input uh, power signal and solar radiation signal and uh, there is no effect on solar radiation uh, as well Okay, uh, let's hit run and see. Saving. Okay, hit run. Let's go inside and discover some uh, results. As you can see here, cost is varying. Cost is varying. Okay, now the system is running on, uh, because the limitations, system limitation is, um, or range is very high, so it will not show the effect will so I have to change this I have to change this let's hit stop and see suppose because the power range is very uh, very low I, I would like to increase the power range let's go and increase the power range in order to, to feel the system power uh, let's go here increasing our results let's go up increasing up Ten thousands, okay. I'm increasing the ranges of the power, okay. Uh, let it be more. So I have to prepare this before uh, starting my book. Okay, let's go here. Okay, I think this is fine for now. Okay, this is fine. This is my power load fluctuating based on my system design. It's up to you. Can record this data or you can bring your recorded data and input input it here. And now we can realize the change. Let's say saving and hit run. As you can see here, this is high power operating at the beginning of the day, increasing the power. And we have also the effect on the cost, cost analysis, as you can see. And then at, uh, we still, now early morning, this is your time, early morning, little bit on main grid, and then we will consider, um, consider solar gas engine power increasing, power is increasing, okay. And then uh, at evening, main grid power, and then the rest of the day, during the night, we have to consider um, hydro power, load on hydro power, as you can see. And that, okay, the system is uh, shut down and the cycle will be uh, repeated again. Let's and explore our result from that and inspector and see from here. You can compare your runs if you would like. Let's go here for, uh, for example, let's go load on hydro power. This is your load on hydro power. A load on uh, uh, gas solar gas engine as you can see and this is your load on uh, on main grid uh, uh, surely will fill fill the gap between uh, post techniques uh, you can this is uh, i think um, a specific power price fluctuating according to the whole system and we can uh, compare hydro annual uh, price for hydropower and consider solar gas engine uh, I mean good if you would like to add okay uh, the system is uh, very interesting you can uh, realize the changes in uh, in hydropower results your upper tank uh, 
results, filter wheel, results you can discover and at least many many parameters if you'd like a centrifugal pump power uh, um, you can from this uh, what is your discharge total pump head head losses uh, you can even uh, double click here and uh, uh, here and use the code in your research activities and you can use it uh, tube lenses uh, uh, tube flow speed so that you across the tubes uh, for solar engine, you can go inside for stilling. This is your stilling. Uh, concentration ratio, total plant area, dish area, dish diameter, uh, dish height. We do not see that before, as I think. Uh, receiver diameter, focal length, number of dishes. Okay, number of dishes, stilling efficiency. Uh, 14 dishes just for centrifugal bomb power. Okay. For this one, we can choose, we can, uh, I think, okay, uh, uh, piston volume, what is your specific volume, compression ratio, pressure ratio, uh, your costs for the dishes in, in, uh, which are responsible for centrifugal bomb uh, uh, running. Uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much for your interest in, in our model. Don't forget to like, share uh, uh, and subscribe. Thank you very much.